Hey guys, Caleb Brown here, New Planner Recruiting. Hope everybody is doing well. Hey, great to see everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. So, had another question from one of our subscribers on how do you match people up? You, you've talked about, you know, what's a good candidate, what's a good firm opportunity, career opportunity. How do you match people up? What are the things you are, are looking at? And, and I'll tell you, this, this is the fun part. This is the fun part about being a recruiter and, and working to help people find an opportunity or find a better opportunity and have massive career success. And we've highlighted a lot of those people on our, our podcast. So if you haven't checked that out, we encourage you to check that out, New Planner Podcast. But here, here, lots of things have to align. And it's almost like a, when you're buying a new house. I mean, it's, a, it's, 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 it's very similar to that, I, I feel like. So, um, so, so the, the location has to match up. The compensation level, the experience level for the candidate and what the, the firm is seeking. Uh, the skill set. I mean, it goes, a, a lot of times it's not just based on years of experience, but hey, is the person had ex does the person have these skills? You know, te technical interest. Hey, we're really focused on tax prep or tax planning here. We really, you know, that person may not have as much experience, but they've had a lot of good tax experience. Okay. Uh, the philosophies, you know, do we feel like we should do a financial plan before we invest clients money or do we just talk to them for 15 minutes and then invest their money? I mean, the philosophies, do we believe that we can beat the market? Do we believe the market's mostly efficient? Um, d demeanor, I think just, just sort of the intangibles, this personality, demeanor, what kind of presence uh, can, can this person relate to the clients that this firm deals with? What's their work style? And we've talked about that before. I mean, you could use personality assessments and to, to help further understand that. But how is this person lead with gathering data or are they an idea person or are they a structured person? Uh, I think probably one of the most important things is just the values, the ethics, uh, and just, you know, sort of their, how, how they conduct themselves, you know, their, their attitude, uh, is it positive? You know, what kind of energy are they giving off in the interviews and the phone? Because that's probably likely to be the energy that they're going to give off in the, with, when they're dealing with the clients. Communication style, do you, you like to write lengthy emails or you a pick up the phone person? Not that that's right or wrong or bad or good, but just those are things that we look at. Uh, and then also too, just the, the, the timing. I mean, a lot of times all those other things that I just listed out could be aligned, but the timing is off. Hey, I'm waiting to get on a bonus or I'm going on paternity leave or maternity leave or, you know, I've got this going on and we're going to take this trip. And, and sometimes the timing is just off. So I, I hope that was helpful just to understand that what's going on behind the scenes because it's not just, oh, we have a position in Chicago and, oh, you're in Chicago. Oh, let's present that person. And it's going to be a great fit and keep our fingers crossed and then send an invoice and try to collect 30%. So thanks for asking that question. Keep them coming. Appreciate the engagement. See you next time. Bye-bye.